Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, today we're going to talk about a neat little study that we've been working on at the PTI farm called our Phosphorus Efficiency Trials. Now, the objective of this study is to evaluate yield and economics of phosphorus placement efficiency using 1034-0 starter fertilizer applied as an in-furrow furrow jet application as well as a dual band conceal application three inches away from the seed trench. Here's what we've got going on. Look at the graphic on the screen right now. On the left, you will see our furrow, furrow jet applications. This is where we've got a tri-band application, three streams of fertilizer, in this case, 1034-0 starter fertilizer. We've got one stream right on the seed, in between the seed, and then we've got wings of the furrow jet that'll slice through the sidewalls and put an additional stream of fertilizer three quarters of an inch away and higher from where the seed's at in the furrow. So we get really good coverage here. Three streams of fertilizer in furrow. Then on the right side of the screen, you'll see the blue streams of application. This is where we're putting 1034-0 completely out of the furrow. We go three inches away from the seed trench, getting outside of the furrow completely, and we're looking at the differences. You know, the, the blue bands are through conceal. This is a knife through the gauge wheels of the planter. We're running about an inch and a half deep. So get this, we're planting corn two inches deep and we've got dual band applications of 1034-0 applied an inch and a half deep on both sides where the seed's planted. But it's three inches away outside of the furrow. And so the objective of this study is just to figure out what does best? If we're going to put phosphorus starter fertilizer on the planter, do we put it in furrow or can we put it outside of the furrow for optimum performance? This video graphic, I think, sums it up really nice. Look at the, the, the orange, you know, the three streams in furrow. That's where we're putting our 1034-0. Quick access to that seed, real close to the seed. And then the blue through conceal three inches away. It's going to take that corn plant a little time to get those roots developed to get access to that fertilizer. That's the major difference in what we're trying to study in this particular trial. All right, let's go to yield data. This is 2022 data, this past growing season. We're using 10 gallon of 1034-0 as our phosphorus source. And again, we're putting it through conceal, dual band conceal, and putting it in furrow jet. Now, let's start with conceal. We did get a yield advantage of 5.1 bushel when we applied 1034-0, 10 gallon to the acre, through a dual band conceal. Okay, one might say, well, that's pretty good. But look, when we put that phosphorus in furrow with furrow jet, we take a 5.1 bushel yield increase from, from conceal up to a 12.3 yield advantage with furrow jet. You know, really nice yield gains is what we're seeing from this phosphorus being placed in furrow. This is yield. Now let's go to return because this is what it's all about. It's about profitability. Conceal's coming in, making me $6.10 an acre after my cost, but look at furrow jet. Placing that phosphorus in furrow, I'm getting an 8x return on investment. Now all of a sudden I go from $6 net profit to nearly $50 an acre. This is what we're talking about of, you know, what can you do on your farm to make, to make an extra $50 an acre? These are the types of things we're looking at. Placement of nutrition is key. Now, that, this, is, this was 2022 data that I, I just showed you. This is not something that's brand new to us. We've been you know, identifying this situation over the last three years. We've tested this phosphorus efficiency trial over 2020, 2021, and 2022. And I'll just be honest with you, furrow jet has never been beat. Furrow jet has always beaten conceal when it comes to phosphorus applications um, on the planter. How, by how much? An average of 5.2 bushel of corn to the acre, and that's equating to about $27 of net profit. Again, putting that phosphorus in furrow near the mouth of a corn plant versus putting it outside of the trench, three inches away, too far away uh, to get that access. I like this picture. This is a young seedling corn plant. Um, getting that root system established. Look at the, or or the, the three circles, the orange uh, bands of fertilizer. This represents our fur uh, furrow jet application of 1034-0 phosphorus starter. Look at the access of that nutrition. We talk about you know putting fertilizer at the mouth of a corn plant. This is what we're talking about. We've got that one circle right on the seed in the seminal root system. 
okay, for quick access. And then look at the crown roots establishing. We've got additional starter fertilizer right there. So we're really honing in before the V5 growth stage for this phosphorus to act as a true starter fertilizer. Now get this, look at the blue circles. That's my conceal, okay? It's too far away, and look how, it, look, look how it's not reaching the root system. This is the thing with phosphorus. If we get a cold, wet spring, we want insurance. What is that insurance? We want starter fertilizer, we want phosphorus. We get soil temperatures under 50 degrees, we can't get phosphorus into the plant, so what do we do? We put a little starter fertilizer there to get us through those stressful situations. The thing is, if we're, you know, look at the blue circles, if we do our phosphorus applications through conceal, it might be too far away. That's my fear with this, is we might miss the nick per se, and that phosphorus is out too far away. We've got a, a, a young corn plant that's not growing very fast anyway because of the cold, wet conditions, and the root system just can't get to it fast enough. Versus where the orange circles are, we've got instant access to it, and we can get through that time of stress pretty effectively. So today's Inside PTI Agronomy Tip of the Day is, where is the best planter placement for phosphorus? If you're putting a starter fertilizer on your planter, phosphorus in particular, where do you want to put it? Well, we think since phosphorus is non-mobile, it's not going to move once we put it in the soil, access to phosphorus in a cold, wet spring with a slow-growing corn plant could be critical. Using an in-furrow application allows for quick access and does not make the corn plant work hard to find its nutrition. Our research at the PTI farm has resulted in a multi-year 2020 to 2022 average yield gain of 5.2 bushel by putting that phosphorus in furrow versus out of the furrow and, and our economic net returns are near $27 of an advantage. And lastly, I'll finish with this. Just because you have, say, a two by two system on your planter currently today and maybe you're using it for nitrogen and sulfur, which is a great way of doing it, but just because you have that system on a planter and you know, I, I just don't want you to say, well, I already have that on the planter. Let's go ahead and put phosphorus in there because I've got it and it'll work. Well, yes, it could work some years, but in some years, again, in a cold, wet situation with a slow growing corn plant, it may be just too far away. And you're asking about mixing multiple products together, which could cause some issues, especially when we're looking, when we're looking at nitrogen and phosphorus with some starter fertilizers. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. would love to hear your comments or uh, try to answer any questions that you have. Or by all means, stop by your local Precision Planning premier dealer and have a conversation with them. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.